Well, thank you for returning as we continue in the series entitled, You Can Make a Difference. This is lesson number nine, and my name is Pastor Rick of Moxie Community Church in Wyalusing, Pennsylvania. We want to talk about Barnabas. We want to talk about Barnabas making a difference in John Mark's life. Permit me to begin with a quote. You can make a difference because someone has or is making a difference in your life. Another difference maker from the scriptures is Barnabas. Even Barnabas's name means son of encouragement. He was a difference maker. He made a significant difference in John Mark's life. We pick up the story recorded for us in Acts 13. Let's examine the biblical storyline. John Mark is Barnabas's nephew. Barnabas is his uncle. It was a it was at John Mark's home that a group of concerned saints gathered to pray for Peter who was incarcerated for preaching the gospel. The first missionary appointment is recorded in Acts 13. Paul and Barnabas were set apart by the Holy Spirit in prayer to take the gospel overland through the Galatia region. In Acts 13, 5, it records that John Mark was included as a helper. The Greek word for helper means an under rower. Now, in the Gospels, the word is most often translated as officer, someone who assists others in court or the military. Only here is the word translated as rower, under rower. An under rower was one of the men in the bows of the ship rowing. His efforts, coupled with others under rowers, helped the ship reach its destination and achieve its goals. John Mark was an under rower to Paul and Barnabas. Now, we do not know exactly how this came about. But nevertheless, he had a specific task. His was not to evangelize, but to assist Paul and Barnabas in such a way as to free them so they could concentrate on presenting the gospel effectively. The text tells us they, they sailed to Cyprus, and when they reached Salamis, they preached the gospel, Paul and Barnabas. They traveled through the entire island, and when they reached Paphos, the first signs of spiritual opposition arose. The Spirit of God aided Paul and Barnabas in dealing with the spiritual antagonism at Patmos. There was no personal harm suffered by the trio. Afterwards, they set sail to Perga in Pamphylia, and this is where John Mark left them. There's no indication as to why John Mark left and returned to Jerusalem. John Mark did not return to Antioch, the commissioning church. John Mark had not witnessed or endured any persecution. Some say it was because John Mark was biased and struggled with the gospel being offered to Gentiles. But we will never know until we reach heaven to ask John Mark. Any suggestions are speculative. Paul and Barnabas returned to Antioch to give a report of their efforts. After some time, Paul suggests to Barnabas that they return to visit the brethren in every city in which they proclaim the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. This was an excellent idea, and Barnabas wanted to take John Mark along. In verse 38, Paul, in his impetuousness, accuses John Mark of deserting them, and by virtue of his desert, desertion, desertion was unfit for any missionary undertakings. This resulted in such a sharp disagreement that Paul and Barnabas separated from one another. Barnabas took John Mark and sailed back to Cyprus, and Silas became Paul's new co-worker. How is Barnabas a difference maker to John Mark? Well, all we can conclude is how his name, Son of Encouragement, may be the key for our understanding. Whatever Barnabas did, we read that Paul lists John Mark as a fellow worker in Colossians 4.10 and Philemon 24. 
We also read Paul's instructions to Timothy in the second epistle. Paul wants Timothy to bring John Mark with him, for he is useful to me in the ministry. Barnabas was a difference maker in John Mark's life. Paul uses the same word when he was a difference maker in Onesimus, verse 11 of that book. Tradition says that John Mark returned to Alexandria where he was martyred. A difference maker does not give up on people. Difference makers know that people, like themselves, fail and fall. Often we give up on people when they do not meet our expectations. Be a Barnabas. Perhaps God has already brought someone into your life that has failed or fallen. Most others are avoiding them or consider them unredeemable. That's the attitude Paul had with John Mark. But Barnabas did not stop at seeing John Mark's failure and fall. He looked beyond. That's what genuine difference makers do. Great treasure is often found under the rubble of a fallen, broken, and shattered life. A difference maker does not give up on another because they remember that God did not give up on them. You got somebody in your life that you're trying to make a difference and you're frustrated? Go to the Lord and ask for strength. Remember, Moses had quite a few frustrating people as he led them out of Egypt. And what you find Moses doing is crying out to the Lord. And God would encourage him to continue to lead the children of Israel and be a difference maker in that story.